what's up everyone this is yasser elite and smash king as i have here and in today's video i will be talking about the best team we ever make we ever made sorry and it's gfisk azu and trevenant the, we we've been playing this team for almost two seasons and a half they, they released trevenant and to be honest i think this is the best team you can ever use in great league and smash king i i believe that he also agrees with me in the with this team he was playing this team on yesterday on his live stream and smash king do you want to say anything about the team or because yo, yes, what's going on yeah, uh smash yo the team is uh is really good <laughs> uh I, so uh i think uh what makes this team different than uh like other variations of gfisk and two answers to fighting is trev uh ever since like uh trev came into the meta it kind of kind of shook things up and uh I like to uh, play for an energy advantage on Trev, uh, because if you uh, get the energy on Trev, you can literally sweep teams. Yeah, you can literally even kill the dark types as long as the dark type is not Umbreon. Uh, Trev with energy lead literally doesn't have anything that holds it, I think. The only thing that yeah. holds it is just Umbreon. Anything else is manageable, like Mandy, you have two hard answers to Mandy. Umbreon's kind of a code breaker for this team. Same for Scrafty, but what makes this team special is that literally this team is the only team that have many, many answers to its core breakers. Usually, like, whenever there is a team, there is an, a huge core breaker, and the core breaker usually sweep, and you only have one way to win is by catching moves. With this team, you can literally play around all the core breakers. The biggest core breaker, I believe, for me, is Sableye. Excel Sableye is a bit tough, but Trevenant in the two can manage that. GFSC in the zero can play around that. And as you can play versus have a decent play versus Sableye, uh, what's like your worst Pokemon to see? Yeah, this uh, so so Sableye is is tricky. Sableye is definitely tricky. Uh, I wouldn't say it's bad nor good because uh, all three of your mons, in my opinion, have play. Uh, Trev's Shadow Claw plus Seed Bomb still add up. Yeah. Um, I, I would say it depends on what what you're running in the lead. So I've been running Trev and G Fisk in the lead. I, I switched it up uh, probably like the first uh, go around in the season, I used uh, Trev lead and the last half or the last rotations, I used uh, G Fisk in the lead. And, and I, I swapped Trev back in the lead like this past week as well, just to switch things up, just depending on what I'm seeing on the leads. If I'm seeing a lot of fighters, I'll put Trev in the lead. Yeah. But um, okay. uh, that's the thing like about this team. It's not really ABB. So like any Mon can go in the lead, even Ozzo if you wanted to. Um, but as far as like rough Bonds. Yeah. Uh, Goon and Scrafty come to mind. Uh, Goon and Scrafty are not ideal leads. Yeah, this is the thing about this team. You can literally lead anything. Like in my variation of this team, I lead Trevenant most of the time, unless I mm. see Dark leads most of the time. If I see Dark yeah. leads, I'm just going to sweep as until well into the lead Smash King, prefer GPS most of the time. But again, this team is very flexible. Every one of those Pokemon has the, has the potential to be lead or closer or safe swap. And any of those three with energy lead can literally sweep teams. Yeah. Okay, so let's go and watch the battles. Smash King will be most likely the one who talk about the battles since it's his, it's his battles. Okay, do you see yes, the battles these, uh, now? Oh, yo, these are fast. Yeah, I have it. At yo, point, but... on Queen. All right, uh, generally positive matchup here. I think, uh, you go I don't remember what I did. <laughs> yeah, you always go for the extra. Uh, I, I always go for the extra, that's number one. All right. So uh, we can take an Earth Power. We don't want to shield the Fang, so we're just gonna let it go. We land a move here. Uh, we always and then we swapped out with the move. Uh, I always uh, I always preach to swap out with the move if possible. Yeah, Licky Tongue is uh, kind of tricky. I like the way Licky you Tongue is it. tricky. Uh, unfortunately for my opposing, uh, for my for my opponent here, he did lag for a little bit. Yeah, I I saw that you like got one bubble of advantage and like one or two turns at max, which is like five, around five turns. But yeah. Still, I don't think it would have mattered that much. So yeah, they I would they would have landed a a yeah. power up there. They could have got and... to another move, but you know, already up a shield, and this Nido Queen has nowhere to go. Yeah, and what's in the back? I forgot already. Is it the Scrafty? I think I was predicting the Scrafty in the back. Yeah, this is. I could... Yeah, totally I like the way you here. play this matchup where you There's didn't leave. Thing. You let you wait until like you you had a uh, earthquake and then you swapped, and then that earthquake came in handy to nuke the. Uh... It kind of almost through here. Oh, because I didn't hit that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I you were greedy a bit on on the move. I was, I was. Yeah, uh, you don't die. Just, to settle, just settle for the ice beam and double seed bomb, but I don't die to a foul play, so it didn't yeah. matter. Uh, we're gonna show the baits. 
I just yeah, it's just a pub. I just yeah. need to do two seed bombs and we win again. Exactly. So just don't shield the first one, Chad. Don't shield the first one. Yeah. If you don't need to. Yeah. But yeah. I like the way you played it here. Like, yeah, you can see that's crafty. They had scrafty. It's a cold breaker. This team is has two weakness to scrafty, but he still won. Okay, this is All a right. very tricky we matchup, know. and this is one of the the reasons why I like Trev. How do you play this? Do you play the zero or the one? Uh, I, I believe I know she'll G Fisk and either sometimes I go for quake, sometimes I go for, for two rock slides. I, I, I don't see switch it up the way I play different teams sometimes. Yeah. This is the something I might catch here. I tried to catch. I do catch. Okay. This is some unnecessary catch. But yeah. Travel energy lead is literally going to sweep opponent. here has made a questionable play by bringing in. Uh, yeah, and I and I and I questioned them back by uh, throwing yeah. a seed bomb and smash. So, it, uh... Okay, smash through the advantage. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't need the advantage, chat. He doesn't need it. <laughs> All right, so here we're gonna bait again, Kappa. Okay, they're, they're not gonna shield this, right? Yo, yeah, yo, they're they, not they gonna shield. shield that. Yeah, and now okay, we're we're over two on 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 calling the baits, or my opponent's calling the baits. We're over two. Yeah, this is something about when you watch battles from streamers. A streamer shouldn't be playing the 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 the, the game the same way okay there was a desync and i believe they shouldn't I, be I, I did try to catch uh but i think it's going to benefit me yep. the long two three okay they have three right, pokemons so, uh, you have they almost do. one they do yeah okay so we go for the bait good bait now two shadow balls doesn't ko but they can get no, the three months before you yes they can so the whole and uh, is, i'm not going to be able to bubble down the venusaur because it's too healthy yep how did you win this I guess we're gonna find out because I don't remember what happened. <laughs> <laughs> like, did you Maybe catch? Did you catch a no bubbled shadow ball on you to G Fisk? Okay. Oh, so boy. I I, yeah. I I counted four because uh, they were it's five to the last a, one, yes. so I got pretty uh, Yo, lucky slash. Is, uh... Yeah, this is a very <laughs> very high skill gameplay at a very high elo. Uh, I was keeping track of the energy on the Venusaur, making sure that he wasn't going to get to I would, To be that. honest, I would throw it too. I wouldn't trust myself to 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 keep energy, to keep track of energy after five minutes of, of, of like a sweaty battle of this this high elo. So uh, on Azu, I like to uh, throw a move and catch the uh, move coming in. Okay, so sometimes so... I catch on seven, sometimes I catch on eight. It just depends. All right. They threw an ice beam regardless. So mm, that's this is good, good for me. You're up a shield. You're up energy. Yeah. And... You can get to two moves before they can get to a yeah. sky attack and a nuke. So the best they can... They, okay. they actually went down shields here. You don't go down shields, chat, that says Trevenant teams. Don't no. go down shields because Trevenant is literally going to sweep. Let's see. I forgot what they had in the back. I think they have Sableye. I think they posed, but still wouldn't change anything because they still no. have to commit to the full farm down. Okay, they brought in the Azu now. Azu is going to bull get bullied. Okay, I like this. You went for the extra. You didn't give up any. Free yeah, I always so go far. for the extra if possible. Yeah. No need to rush it. No need to rush it throw there because they don't get to so it. So now you have two turns of advantage. Okay, you went for the deny since you get two extra turns, which can make you play aggressively. And then you see impede. I see impede again, yeah. Yeah, you're catching these battles faster than I can. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just All like right. I played this team enough. So. <laughs> All right, I think it's a Sableye. This is a Burb. There's the Burb. Okay. And we used to get the two moves. Okay, this is the tricky right. one. Do you just double Rock Slide the Sableye and the Zero, or EQ and Rock Slide? I think uh, EQ and Rock Slide. I don't. Yeah, I don't think Rock Slide e double Rock Slide is enough. It's always tricky. Sometimes I question that Rock Slide and EQ is too much, but I haven't. I have never tested that. Two rock slides plus the mod shot because, you know. Yeah, uh, I'm usually not playing the stabilize in the zero, so there you go, earthquake and rock slide. Yeah, I play rock slide and 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 the EQ. Okay, this All right, so this matchup is just uh, bait dependent and who baits and who doesn't. This is literally why I hate playing GFS in the lead. Yeah, same. All <laughs> right, he throws a quake. I throw a quake. I think he lets his go, and that kind of just put me in a position. No, 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 he didn't. Okay. Oh, Ner, Ner, watch this match. Oh Watch boy! This match. Oh boy! Watch this yeah, match. This, both is, this is a good one. This are is literally a good one. playing the same way. Yeah. And here, okay. But I got a bubble here. I got a bubble here. See, let's see, guys. This is one of the things that like kind of flips small matchup because I know like lots of people say, "Oh, if you play meta, you don't need to think about the battles." But look at this. 
two trainers are playing literally the same team at very high elo so the yeah. one that gets a small advantage will flip the matchup so far azu is up one bubble yeah so opponent will be forced to catch but smash didn't give him that advantage to think that he's gonna go for the catch and he just i'd rather save my energy on the azu in the back yeah. rather than throw another foul play that play ref that isn't gonna kill yep, so, uh, so he's gonna kill me uh, we have a sack in Azu, and we're just coming, coming Trev here. Yeah, half HP Azu is not a sack. Half HP Azu can tank two moves. <laughs> <laughs> Do you go Shadow Ball, or are you going to bait? Oh, boy, this is bad. I think this was a desync CMP. Yeah, this is a desync CMP. That's why I said it's bad. Okay, didn't it just It turn? didn't trigger. It didn't trigger. So I'm expecting a Trev in the back, right? It so I, to I need be. to have a lot of energy. All right, there's my catch. Uh, okay, I'm fortunate not able to get to this move here. They are at three. They're going to get to five here. Four, five. And we just need a seed bomb. And I was clicking on the wrong side. They threw. Why is my seed bomb on the left? Yo, why is my seed Yo, bomb on the left? Smash. I thought we agreed. <laughs> Stab and nuke on the left. On the right, they cover it. And uh, I outpace here. Yeah, and you outpace. Yo, I need, I need yeah. to fix that right now. This is actually. Right yeah, now. this is a very well played. Well played to you, trainer. You guys see. Uh, game number six. I think that was a 5 this 0, right? Is, yeah, this is a tricky matchup. I always go down two shields here. Okay. Because this uh, is a cold break. I, I like to uh, grab the Walrein's health rather than its shields. And, uh, and I like the first one. It's not Shadow, so I survive it. Okay, they go straight for it. Uh, they did sneak and move there, so I, that means I don't believe I get to the next one. Okay, they let it go. Better for me. Yeah. Cold break. Now, Sableye, a cold breaker to this team with lots of energy lead. This is tough. All right, I, uh, I was predicting a Trev in the back here. So, Gfisk double ghost. I was thinking of playing this team yesterday, but there was so many goon lead. There was so many... Uh... This is why I like Ice Beam sp specifically for the Sableye matchup, because Sableye is always shield. Yeah. So I'm, I'm assuming he's going to foul play here. He does. And I get one move off. Okay, so you called his bait. Yeah. Okay, this is... And, and from here on out, I can just... You can play aggressively. Down. Yeah. And outpace them to two moves. And we have and we have energy moves. in the back. There's yeah, the I, I was playing. I, I wanted to play like the Gfisk double ghost team. It's one of the interesting teams that does well versus the condensed meta. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, I saw so many obstacles oh, and the and the, the rabbit Pokemon. Okay, this is a five. Oh, Yo, thirty five hundred. Yo, I, I can stay on the team now. I can stay on the Yo. team. <laughs> You're playing Diego, one of the talented Japanese players. Who was this? I think Diego. Three, okay, he caught. Tried to catch. All right, I threw. I threw on five just to sync it up. It's gonna be a tie. Okay. Mm. Okay. Uh, Stable I was the lead, I believe. Yeah. So uh, I'm gonna keep some health so that I can uh, actually combat the Sable Eye. I know you guys are like, well, why are you shielding? That doesn't kill you. Well, uh, this is it why. It does so much health. I think I double shield here. No, okay. I don't double shielding. Do yes. I get to move? I don't get to move. All no. right, yo, I don't remember what I did. All right, quick. <laughs> they shield. I don't know. They don't. Okay, okay it's me. Okay, is uh, okay. This is another reason why I have ice beam. Okay, good. We snuck in a bubble. We're gonna shield the psychic. Uh, you more, need the, the ice beam. If you don't have ice beam, you'll get bullied by Medicham. Exactly. I mean, this Medicham doesn't seem to have the best IV, but you still need the ice beam, or you lose the one. Yeah. What he said. Yeah, if like because you if you need a play rough and ice beam, and you get them before they get to three psychics. So mm -hmm. if you have only play rough, they can see MPU and three psychics. So here, I didn't one. want to kill the Sableye because they're gonna get farm with Medi and then psychic me. So I needed to die. Yeah, this is a very good play. Like, you let your Pokemon die so you can over farm and kill their Pokemon other than them. Yeah, over they, they, they were one away from the move here and they got the Psychic right there. Yep, they died with it. Yeah. Uh, he's playing Windwalker, another talented player yeah. and very. Okay, I think this is the healer. mirror that I flip in my favor. Okay. I just like to throw right away on G Fisk. All right. So uh, the he lets that go. That gives me the green light to a uh, shield, right? Yep, and you can. Oh boy. Okay, so this is the good thing about Trevenant over 
or with uh, Azul Penguin. in the midi matchup is that you do better versus many champ like a lot. Yeah. Better, even if they have so uh, so the many came in. I CMP tied it on eight uh, with the shadow ball, and he kind of have to use a shield there if he wanted to keep it alive. And there's and no we're point just of keeping it alive. Because I mean, it we we landed the quake here. This game's un unlosable at this point. Yeah. EQ does KO here. I think I'm just okay. Let's start slide. tripping it. Smash. Yeah, I I don't I don't need to throw any more big moves the rest of the way here. Okay, Power Whip doesn't KO. I, it seems that his nah. is, is a very bulky uh, Licky Tongue. I can tell from the damage you're doing because okay. usually, like, if they have a bad IV Licky Tongue, two EQs can kill it. But I've seen so much, so many mud shots so far. So, I think like he catches it. my Quake right here. He does. Good catch. Doesn't do much, but. He still needs to throw two nukes to kill yeah. your Azu. And you have a shield and very XL Azu. Yeah. No need to shield. Yo. So play rough uh power rip does that much there. So Yo, I have a I have a rank three. <laughs> I have a rank three as you have a rank one trev and then my G Fisk is like in the thirties. You need you need a better G Fisk. So you can yeah. <laughs> top best team with the best IV. Okay, this is one of the tricky matchups. Safe swap okay. wall lean. So uh this this is rough because I'm expecting the scrafty in the back. Scrafty Warring core? Hello? Is that a new team that I'm not aware of? Basically just the fighter. Oh. So it's AVB. They try to bait out the Azu with this so the fighter can sweep. Yeah. I assume. Okay. Nice. Nice. All right. Cool. So we're going to over farm heavily here. And I think we shield. Okay. They yeah. swapped into Medi. They can get to one move, which literally won't do anything. Okay. This is... Oh, this is non-shadow. They can't risk... Non-shadow. Yeah. They can no shield. Halo Queen non-shadow is very tricky because it doesn't die. Yeah, it, it's worse. It's worse. They don't die to a nice beam. Yep. It's literally even better in the Altaria. Non-shadow Nido can, can beat Altaria and the Zero as well. All right, we catch a move. I forgot how much energy he had from watching right now. Okay, yeah, you just go Trev and farm it all the way down. I think so. No. Nope. Or you just force him to throw his <laughs> energy. <laughs> yep, and I think I start shielding baits. There you go. Okay, I, 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 he he oh. had a lot of energy. I, I didn't remember exactly how much, but uh, he throws three back to back right here. Yeah, that was that was three in quick succession. Oh boy. Okay, it's actually was what the shield. Now yeah. if they shield, you can swap. You get to two moves. So no, you just okay. Never mind. Let's. I did one more bubble to get closer to move there. Uh, I'm one bubble off, and. Scrafty okay, is going nice. to have to throw him to so kill me. So you're going to CMP? Oh, no. He's supposed to get to the move before you. Wait, is this a pop? I think so. Yep. This doesn't KO still. The match is, is not... Okay. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Very well played. 1 HP. <laughs> One HP Yo, check out check out this match. Okay, it's against Auburn. It's good. Auburn is one of the top battlers He's in the world. That's good. one. All right. Two. He throws on eight. Good timing. Uh, I bait him here. Two. He's leading Just... the worst lead for G Fisk. The worst lead from my team since it. I'm AB yeah. a week to it. Yeah, Setfish, Azu, Setfish beats like Bully Azu G Fisk core. and mm -hmm. we have both. So you get. We are about to get bullied. Oh, he catched the ice beam. And he caught on my Azu. I, that is no way. I, I, I was expecting it, okay? I was expecting it. I was hoping he would do two counters, but he only did one in swap. I would throw at five because most likely people at high ELO don't insta throw. So the safest yeah. way is always to throw it the moment you get it because yeah. they are not going to swap once you get it. Yeah. They will always farm one or, or two more. So the issue is here that he, he over farmed. So he's going to get to multiple moves. Oh boy. And he and he catches the seed bomb on the scarm. Yeah, I love Yo, yes, sir. Uh, I'm he's Smash. totally outplaying me right now. <laughs> so how do I win this? Yo, the left. <laughs> okay. All right, Yo. we landed the ball. He came in chat afterwards, and he said, uh, "I didn't realize he had two shields." So uh, you know, he's he was anticipating that we only had one shield for the game. So I need uh, duck is one move away here. So if we deny. If I was looking deny, at the typing what came in. Catch. I need to do one and throw. 
Wait, I mean, you wouldn't catch oh, it. Sorry. Boy. You kept a track of energy on the surface and he baited. I, I, I did. I, why I did what, track wait, of the energy. Why did he bait? Because he because he threw on my trev. He wasn't I think he uh, he he wanted to undercharge, but he didn't know that he did undercharge. He did. Yeah. Yeah. yeah very well but played. It, you know, this it, is a it, very, it does too much. very, very, very well played. Yo, nicely uh, he, nicely he, he caught my ice beam, he caught my seed bomb, and somehow he stole me that out of there. <laughs> uh, the Gran game granted, came he should have shielded my ball. I think the game should have shielded the ball. He should have shielded the ball. That's one, yeah. two. He got, I think, he got overconfident. He had like some overconfidence that he should win the game since he caught all of your moves. And he had the advantage of having a code breaker versus a team that he knows how to play or he's familiar to how to play with versus because yeah. this literally, this is the best team. And you yeah. should always have a plan how to play versus this team. So I I I assume he, he just like got overconfident of winning that game. I didn't pay attention. All right, that was. Oh boy, this is so bad. Walrus into swamp. Uh, we we died, so we didn't switch lock. We landed the seed bomb. So that means we can just go bubble into plus swamp, ice beam. And then. No, it, it was G Fisk into walrus, uh, and then we killed it, and then he came in with swamp. And he tied us on the EQ, so we couldn't throw the EQ. And then Wiggles, but says Trevin, and I love my life. So uh, yes. all I need to do is grab both shelter, to be honest. I was expecting him to let this one go. But uh, I would let it go. We outpace. There is no... Okay, wait, is this last Pokemon Swampert? Uh, last Pokemon Swampert. Yeah, this, this is the thing about Trev. There is no there is no play for the Swampert. If you have Swampert in the back... Sorry for... You don't you don't have a play, but says this, but says the Trevenant. Uh Smash, yeah. thank you so much for the battles. Like very, Yo, very high you, skill you. gameplay on you, on your opponents. But you know, the the, on, the best on what? Always, Sorry? The, it was very well played on you and on your opponents, but the best always the one who wins. True, true. Well, yeah. And no, you uh, won all of them. And you Yeah, I that so that, you, that that was a 10 0 and we end up at uh I don't know if you have another 10 0 at 3600. Yeah, almost, almost, almost. So uh, we we secured our spot on Elite TM's uh, bench <laughs> player next season. Uh, we were just shy of being a thirty six hundred pioneer, though. Just shy. Just shy. Uh, thank you so much for the battles, and make sure to check his live stream. I will be leaving it in the description, like one of Which the dot tv slash smash underscore king zero eight. Twitch dot tv slash smash underscore king zero eight. He streams at. 8 8:30 8 p.m. Uh, uh, 8:30 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. Pacific Time. So if you live usually in Europe, like during the week. So if you live in Europe, Thursday. I don't think you can catch up with the best. No, no, unfortunately. High skill gameplay. Okay, thank you so much, for Smash King. Uh, any anything else you want to say? Yo, thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Thank you for uh, showcasing these battles. I uh, had a lot of fun on stream yesterday <laughs> with them, and uh, yeah, it felt nice to go uh, positive 10 on stream. 10 <laughs> on stream, <laughs> 3600. <laughs> uh, but you, you know, uh, that's if you guys watch me, you know, that's pretty standard for my channel, though. Thank you. Thank you so much. Always expected from Smash to be 10 0 at page one leaderboard. And thank you so much. Uh, if you like the video, make sure to like it. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And also, make sure to check Smash King live stream thumbs up. at twitch.tv. Give, give it a thumbs up. <laughs> twitch.tv smash underscore king08. See you next video. Peace. Yep. Let's see.